I want to pay tribute to the Stop the War Coalition for this mobilization of so many people in such a short pace of time. They've done a fantastic job and we should congratulate them. Yeah. But I want to say also, I want to pay tribute to all of you. You are the conscience of this nation. And every time we mobilize, you come out and speak on behalf of the hearts and soul of this country. But behind you, there are millions, millions out there demanding a ceasefire now, a ceasefire now. That's our demand. But I tell you this now, I bring a message for Tony Blair. You bring shame upon this country. Shame for supporting this illegal invasion of the Lebanon. You degrade the position of Prime Minister. When, when children are dying in Lebanon, you go out to America to perform for Rupert Murdoch. You bring shame upon this country for allowing the weapons that kill the children to be transported through Britain. And let's send a message of solidarity to the campaigners in Prestwick, to the campaigners in Mildenhall, trying to prevent those bombs going through Britain. And if there are workers out there in those, those airports who refuse to allow those weapons to go through, we give them our support wholeheartedly. I say this, it's been mentioned, I'm putting my name forward to challenge for the leadership of the Labour Party. But I pledge you this, I will not cease to work until we have a Prime Minister and a government that are peacemakers rather than warmongers. I will not cease to work until we break this alliance with George Bush. And I will not cease to work until we withdraw the troops from Iraq. We produce peace in Lebanon and we ensure that there is a future for the people of Palestine. Solidarity!